What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We are at the shop today and I got some big things I gotta do today. So we're gonna be taking the fuse box harness completely out of this car. I am trying to relocate that behind the glove box. You can cut out your glove box and then you can put the fuse box inside your car. So it just makes it so you're not like getting water in it or anything like that. It's mainly for like the guys that are looking to like tuck their bays. I'm going for like a full shade look. So in today's video, we're gonna be pulling this harness out of here. If you watched the last video, I explained how I had it routed from, this is the original spot and I had it moved down to here. And this is, that's an okay way to do it. You can put your fuse box here and you can just undo the, the original routing for it. And you don't even have to like extend anything. This is all the original harness. So instead of keeping it in front of the wheel, which I mean, it does work. I'd like to pull this hole out, this whole thing out and put it behind the glove box. Now, I don't think I have to pull the dash in order to do that. I've seen like a couple different guys that do it. And they said that you don't have to pull the, get the dash out to do it. So I'm hoping not, but we'll see when we dive into it. And along with pulling out the fuse box harness, we are gonna be removing the whole entire brake booster. As you can see here, we already have the steering rack out along with basically everything else. The rack is down here just cause I didn't have anywhere else to put it for now. But that's what we're gonna be getting into today. I already got most of the stuff kind of unbolted. This, there are four 12 millimeter bolts on the other side and the harness, I haven't quite figured out the best way to get it out of here. I got to undo all these like zip ties that I have from like my fuel or my oil pressure gauge, my AFR gauge that kind of runs through that grommet. But we're going to be pulling that out and then hopefully just getting a harness made for the fuse box to that get it like behind the, the glove box because that's like the ideal spot for it. You can just open your glove box, check all your fuses, mint. You don't have to like pull your bumper off to get to it underneath the headlight, which is where I had it before. But down here, so underneath your dash, this is for the brake booster. If you can see, so this right here is your brake pedal going to the booster. Up here you have a couple of bolts. See those? There's four. Two on that side, two on that side. It's pretty hard to miss. They're connected to your where your brake pedal is, you see up there. So you gotta undo those four bolts. And then on the side over here, on the side, there is a cotter pin. Sorry guys, it's a little hard to see under the dash, but right there, there's a, see the cotter pin? Gotta pull the pin out, slide that through, and then you should be able to just pull the booster out. So I'm gonna be taking those four bolts out, pulling the pin out of there, and then yanking the booster out. And then I gotta find a way to get to this harness. Let's get this booster out of here. I gotta grab it. 12 mil, something to pull that pin through. And then uh, should be able to just pull this whole, whole thing right on out. All right, so I got the, uh, I got the brake booster unbolted here. I'm about ready to pull it out. I got the four bolts on the other side of this unplugged or unbolted. See how this is loose? So, and I took the pin out. I should just be able to yank this out now. Go. Brake booster out, baby. There is the four bolts that I showed you underneath the dash, along with the pin on the other side. All right, so now that the booster is out of the way, I'm going to get this probably powder coated or painted or some shit while it's out. That way it's not just sitting over here making a mess let me go find somewhere to put this that that work let me put that on this right here the booster's out now which makes it 
one step closer to getting the rest of this bay completely shaved. I just got to figure out how to get this harness out of here. So that's next. It looks like it's right below. So the booster is there or up here. Steering rack here. Harness there. So shouldn't be too hard to get to. This is for the electric steering. I'm just going to take my cutters and cut all of these zip ties that I have and then I should be able to just pull the whole harness right through and then uh, we'll go from there. All right, so I basically got the harness partially pulled through now. Um, as you can see here, it's starting to get a little bunched up where the grommet is. I still have to disconnect this from here. There's like a little clip down. I can't really see it, but on the, each side of this, you can stick like a flat head in there and separate it. And then on the inside of this, there are connectors. I'll show you once I have it apart, but basically got to pull the whole harness either like out this way or in through the car. I, I haven't decided the best way to do it yet. Right now I'm just trying to get these, uh, plugs through and just stick them behind the dash for now because these are for like all my gauge pods that i have in the car so I'm trying to get those out of the way right now and then i'm gonna worry about the bigger harness right right there is the hole for the firewall you're gonna have to take this black piece off it's just a 10 mil and it sits kind of it sits kind of like right here above the uh, above the grommet. So that way you don't s like slam your gas pedal into the harness. So basically I'm just pulling all this, I'm just pulling all this through here. These are all the, har the wires that you just saw on the other side. And then the main harness is this right here. Sorry, it's a little hard to see. But that's the main harness on the right. And you just gotta pull it through, whichever way you want. I'm, I'm still trying to figure out which way I wanna go. But these I'm definitely pulling inside the car. I'm just gonna tuck them up there. And then this is for my electric steering. Same with this. But that, see the big one? That's the main, that's the main fuse box harness. So you just gotta pull that black piece off the 10 mil and then you can get access to your harness all right guys i found the connector underneath the dash here i had to pull the um had to pull the center console out in order to get to it but right there is the connector for the harness I'm pretty sure back right there so if it comes from there, and then it goes around. So part of it comes off of here, and then the other part plugs into this blue connector right here. So next, I just gotta figure out where this connector is going because it splices off, but a good amount of it goes right into this blue connector. So, and to get your uh, console off, there's just uh, two screws in the back that go into, uh, actually there might not be, yeah, they're right here. There's supposed to be two screws that are going here. I don't put them back in just cause it makes it a pain. And then there's these two here. You gotta pop this off to get to these two screws. And then your uh, your center console should come right out. It's not too hard to pull the center console apart. But now I gotta trace this wire here because it's it's got like a fork in it. Part of it goes here to this connector here and the other part goes up. All right, so I dug up where the other wire that splits off goes to. Right in here, sorry for the lighting. See this big gray box? 
So this actually sits up a little bit higher, but I don't know if you guys can see. See that, uh, kind of that metal rail right there? It slides on the side. And then over here on the other side, there is the other rail and that bolt, see that Phillips head right there? So this, let me see if I can show you guys. This actually sits like, well, let me see if I can move it. This sits like up here. So if you're looking from like your dash, you see the split right here, this is the split. This thing sits like way up higher. But you can undo that bolt and slide it down and then you can get to all the connectors. So the connectors here are these green ones and what, basically everything coming off of that right there. So there's the split and half of it goes right here into the blue and then the other half comes up and around and goes to the green up here. You guys, you'll see it when you stick your head under the dash, you'll see this block up there and there'll be one Phillips head to the right and then this whole thing just kind of drops. So all you gotta do now is undo these green connectors and the blue connectors over there and then you should be able to pull the harness out. So I'm gonna do that now. And then once the harness is like completely unplugged, I'll pull it out and you guys can see what it looks like. Basically all this stuff is unplugged in here. I unplugged all of these green plugs from the big connector that I showed you guys earlier. That's this here. And then let's see here. This is the harness that goes to the firewall. Remember I showed you this split earlier, that's this. They plug into the blue right here. And I think one of these brown connectors and the yellow one on top are, yeah, the, one of the brown connectors, all blue, gray, and then yellow. So that plugs in right there. So now you got your harness all unplugged and ready to go out your firewall. Now, if you notice here, there is one plug, one wire, see it right there that goes that way. It is this one right here. You guys see that? That brown one? That's it. And it plugs in right to that blue cable here. I'll go around and I'll show you. Is this brown one right here. And it clips into that red clip and it plugs into that blue, the blue wire right here. Right there. That is that plug. And now that this is disconnected, I can just bring it across to the other side and then pull the harness all the way out. Harness about to come out, Adam. Yeah, I might need you to help snake it through the grommet on the other side, but it's about to come out. Yeah, you actually want to come over here? I think, huh? It's ready to come out, so. Just pull. No, that's the only thing that's left is pulling that, uh, pulling that grommet. Cause it, it, there's a lot of stuff running through there, so. I pull all the gauge wiring through. Let me do that and then we'll pull the harness out. Yeah, let me stand that. that you're gonna be in the thumbnail. That's the harness. Let me see that thing. I got it. Damn. So, night, it's finally out. I guess it is easier to pull it through the, through the engine bay out rather than trying to undo this. Well, because you only, have, only this much is inside. So you just disconnect these few things and you pull it out. Yeah. And try to so this this is the um, where's the one that went? This is the one that went all the way across. I don't know what it's for, but it plugs in like right above, right next to the ECU. Maybe that's for the airbag sensor. Yeah, maybe. And then these these are the these ones plugs. that are underneath the the console, and then these are the ones that are underneath that big block 
towards the top. That's how you pull the harness out of a RSX for the fuse box. And then this is the uh, headlight harness here. This is like your headlight corner marker. That one is for, these are for my uh, aftermarket headlights. I tapped into it. Right here is the ground the fuse box. Over here you got, I think those are high beams. Uh, headlight. This is for the other thing over there. Over here, same thing. It just goes all the way across to the other side. Those are more headlight. So this is like the headlight harness that splits here. That's the fuse box there. And now it is out of the car. That's the hole that you pull it through. You do have to pull the carpet out of the way to get to that. And there's a little grommet there. And depending on like if you have your gauges in the car or not for your gauge pod, then you want to run them through there as well. Or, I mean, you'd have to drill a hole somewhere in like somewhere on the firewall if you want to like tuck them out of the way, I guess. But it's all like up to your own discretion. But at least we got the fuse box harness out of the car. It's a big wiring mess. This is the engine harness that I'm going to be using. But that's pretty much it for today's video. Hope you guys were able to learn like some useful stuff. This is kind of like me figuring it out as I went along, but it's kind of self-explanatory. You just follow the wires, figure out where it's connected to and unplug it, you know. They, when you do have to take uh, your console, center console out, but that's real easy on these cars. And then um, just pull it all through and unplug everything. The only part that was a little tricky was uh, like unplugging all the wires from up top, but even then it wasn't that bad. It, it was a little tricky just because I have so many extra wires for like my my uh, gauge pillar. And then uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, next step would be to get either, either redo your own fuse box harness so you can tuck it behind the glove box or have somebody make you one. I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna do that quite yet, but I know I'm gonna cut this, put the glove, put it in here and then probably just run the harness down and around. I don't think I even need to pull the dash for that to be honest with you. Appreciate you guys tuning in and watching the video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.